Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to To Be The Man. And we couldn't do it without the Hall of Famer himself, the 16-time world heavyweight champion, your friend and mine, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Rick, what's going on, man? How are you? 33rd time. It's 21 times. Let's get it right. Sorry about that. I'll get it together. I'll get it together. Everything's hey. great, man. How are you? I am. I'm excited. You know, we, uh, we just launched the big news as folks are listening to this a couple of days ago, we announced that we are no longer at the Nashville fairgrounds. And now in fact, we are doing your last match at the Nashville municipal auditorium. Tickets are on sale again this Friday, and uh, it's going down at Ric Flair's last match.com. This is a big damn deal, man. You've won, not one, but two world titles in that building. You beat Ricky Steamboat and Randy Savage at a Starcade. Man, now we're getting back where uh, it all started. You and the big gold belt and the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I'm honored. I can't, I can't uh, you know, I can't. We talk about it so much during the day. I'm just it's hard to believe it's taking place, but I'm I'm very excited. Obviously, I'm very honored. And yes, it, I have a lot of history, not only in that building but in that town, <laughs> that that city. You've had a lot of fun there. And and I got to tell you, I, we had a plan today to, uh, we promoted it and, and all that jazz. We were going to have Jay lethal on and we couldn't really do what we've been doing here without Jay lethal. Because when you were first thinking about, Hey, can I do this? Should I do this? You started working out with Jay and man, those videos went viral. And I thought, Hey, you guys have had some fun together, you know, and, and we could uh, maybe show some of those old clips, the woo offs and all the stuff from impact, but no, uh, no Jay today. What's up with that? Uh, well, he, is he going to hear this if I say it? I don't care. He's the, he's got an attitude. He, really? he wants to he wants to be part of the show, and I I said that ain't going to happen. You know how that happens. And all of a sudden, everybody's feelings are hurt. So, you know, this is what we talk. It's what we discuss. You're going to some people's feelings are going to be hurt. Well, yeah, I hate yeah. that because I think the world with Jay, and I know that you guys have had a lot of fun. I do too. I, I'm not saying anything bad. It just, you know, I, I, I don't have the authority or the, I mean, I'm even though I'm, I guess, co-owner of this venture. Uh, I don't have the authority to, to put him on the card. So I, I think he's upset about that, but he'll get over it. Well, I still wanted us to, to relive the good old days and spend a little bit of time talking about how fun, you know, your interaction was with him. I mean, that probably just hit you out of nowhere, right? When he started doing those, those yeah, impressions. Let's just, you know, you, they, can, they, they can block us out, but you can't make chickens out of chicken shit. And that's, that's kind of where we're at in this deal. Just edit, edit that, please. Okay. Well, um, so listen, uh, we had to call an audible and I figured with all the news, even though I had a whole format, I got like 32 pages of, of questions for you and Jay mapped out here and we had clips queued up and all that, but it's clear that Jay is, is not going to be on the show. And, uh, I guess we wish him well. well and Let's just ask Nate. <laughs> I like those. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? People want to tune in and, 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 and hear you anyway. And we thought, man, this would be a nice thing. You guys revisiting some fun stuff since those videos of you guys training went viral. And I don't know, maybe he had other plans. I hate to hear there's been a falling out, but somebody there's never been a falling out with. No, there's not been a falling out. I just, I, you know, somebody, I don't, I, did, I told him just like it is. I don't, I have the ability. I, I don't, have, I suppose I have the influence to make something happen, but it, it, it from what I understand, he doesn't fit on the card. I'm sorry. It's not a falling out on my part, I promise. Well, let's talk about the card. Of course, we're talking about Ric Flair's last match, July 31st. Uh, the, the video announcement was just released a couple of days ago. We're moving to Municipal Auditorium. And when I say we, I mean we, the, uh, the man who's putting the band back together, Mr. David Crockett joins us now here on the show to be the man, Jim Crockett promotions back in the house. And here's David Crockett. Oh David, yeah. Hey, Rick. David, you're calling in from Greensboro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm is it calling in from up in the mountains of North Carolina. Is it Sunday night? night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what fun we had in Greensboro. That's for oh. sure. I got to stay over to that Sandy Miles. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't make Jimmy and 
and, and Jimmy and David mad. They're having a party at the Howard Johnson's until we got kicked out of there. Then it was the Holiday Inn. Got kicked out of there. Then it was the Sheridan. Got kicked out of there. Finally, we got the roadway adopted us. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the days, I, 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 I guess. I guess now Nashville is going to have to adopt us, right? Uh, yeah, but Hilton—they've adopted me already. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, Rick? I was thinking about that the other day because, uh, you know, as we're recording this, uh, or, or two days from now, or as folks are listening to this tomorrow, we're all going to be in Nashville for the big press conference. We've got the voice of the Tennessee Titans, who's going to be hosting things, and. Boy, Mr. Crockett still got it. He's managed to have the mayor announce that July 31st is going to be Ric Flair Day. How cool is that, Rick? Come on. That, it's that's overwhelmingly cool. Uh, I know David, you know, who's very politically savvy, went went to work on that. And uh, I did not think it would ever happen, but God, I'm honored as hell. Are you kidding me? So we've had well, that. Well, you deserve it, Rick. You deserve it. We've had that in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. Minneapolis, but, uh, Nashville for a town. I've had so much fun in, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond shocked and, and very, very, very excited for the event. Stay tuned. We're going to have uh, the entire press conference streamed here on Rick social media. And of course our podcast, social media, uh, just follow us anywhere on social to see that live stream of the press conference. We're going to have some, uh, some dignitaries on hand and some some charities on hand. We're doing some really cool stuff. We're excited for everybody to, to hear about and celebrate. And, and the other cool thing about this whole thing we're doing in Nashville on Thursday, Mr. Crockett is the idea that you've somehow convinced them at least for the weekend, the last weekend in July, they're going to rename the historic Nashville fairgrounds. And it's going to be known as the historic Nashville flare grounds. How fun is that? Mr. Crockett. That is, I mean, Rick has done so much for Nashville and he's done so much for really wrestling it as a whole. You can look at it. How many times right now? 21 world look, heavyweight champion. If, if, if we're being honest, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a nope. no, honesty doesn't get in the way of a good story. Come on. No, no, it's not a story. I did. I went over with Conrad It's 21 right in the button. All right. So, but, um, I guess I don't count when they're not on U.S. soil. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of To Be The Man is brought to you by Zen Nicotine Pouches, a fresh way to enjoy nicotine without all the baggage of cigarettes, dip, or vape. Woo, that's right. No more smelling like an ashtray, no more spit cups, and no batteries to charge or leaky equipment to deal with. Zen nicotine pouches are smoke-free, spit-free, and available in 10 varieties like spearmint, wintergreen, citrus, and many more. And for your convenience, each variety comes in two strengths, so you can easily find the satisfaction level that's perfect for you. Zen, America's number one nicotine pouch, is available in over 100,000 locations nationwide, meaning it's never been easier to find your Zen. So head over to zen.com slash find, find a store near you. That's Z Y N dot com slash fine. Woo. Warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Well, this one is going to be on us soil. You can go ahead and pre-order at Ric Flair's last match.com. If you can't make plans to join us in Nashville, but tickets will be back on sale this Friday. I can't believe this is a real thing, but Jim Crockett promotions is getting back together one last time when Rick oh, yes. talks that all for the very last time. And, uh, <laughs> Does that have to be just one last time? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crockett, I got to tell you, one of my favorite things is uh, seeing the the construction of Rick's last robe. Uh, we've got some sneak peek videos, and we're going to unveil it at the uh, the press conference this Thursday. And I didn't know this, Rick, but you actually had three versions of that same robe. You had one yeah. done. Uh, I guess in the seventies, another in the eighties, I was only familiar with the one from the eighties, but when, when they went to recreate it, they said, Hey, more like this one or more like that one. How about no, that, that, man? It's so nice. You did it three times. It's the first one I've lived ever made me. Really? Wow. The, the first one that nature boy ever wore the character. Yep. 
man, I, I just, uh, I love that story and I'm glad that we're going to get to unveil that and, uh, stay tuned boys and girls, because we're going to be doing some really great things with that robe that are going to benefit a lot of people. There's actually a chance where you might wind up with that robe. So yeah. stay tuned to the press conference this Thursday to learn more about that. It's going to be a hell of a time. Well, here's the deal to it. And the explanation behind why I had several made is there it's white. It's actually white with purple and it, um, it was very hard to keep clean. And, yeah. uh, you know, in the old days, I wish I could tell you that I could just hand a robe like we did, as you've seen so many times that someone walk away with it. In the old days, while well, would take it and throw it across the ring. I mean, it's on a dirt floor or just <laughs> not singing out wow, but it just, um, you know, that was just a different time in the business and the guys were wilder and, you know, nobody was taking care of everybody's gear like that. And nobody had gear like that except me. So that it was, it was, I mean, I, I don't, re I don't regret a minute of it, but, um, that's why I had to have three made. One of them got stolen in Hutchinson, Kansas. I had wrestled Rufus R. Jones and I walked up to the second floor of the building. Nobody there, a guy go that left. So nobody in the building, but me and Rufus. And I looked out the window and the kid, there was some kid was screaming. He had my white and that yellow and that white robe with the butt butterflies. Gave wow. me the thing, ran down the street. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he couldn't run fast because those robes weigh a lot. Yeah, they do. Well, he had it under his arm with about five other guys. So I guess I had to check in somewhere and do something that night. <laughs> 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 love Kansas. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to even ask. Don't I love even ask. I love Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's talk about some other fun things that's going to be going down in Nashville. Of course, we know we're doing the Horseman reunion on Saturday morning, uh, and that's going to be the day before Rick's last match. And we're going to have man the whole gang there. Uh, unfortunately, Oli no longer makes those personal appearances, but. We'll have Barry Windham there. We'll have Lex Luger there. We'll have JJ Dillon there. We'll have Arn. We'll have Tully. We'll have Rick. And and the master of ceremonies will be Tony Schiavone. Who better to host that panel than Tony, right, Mr. Crocker? Oh, yes, yes. T Tony is the man. He's really number one in wrestling now. He, yeah. I mean, well, he's come a long way. He and, better be. And you have to look. Wait a minute. You have to look at you, Rick. You helped bring him along. You coached him. Coached him. <laughs> I got him off the guy front base. He was a front base coach for the world, wasn't he? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All the balls and strikes. His claim to fame is carrying Cal Ripken's jock back in the goddamn uh, back in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Tony's enjoying that. Uh, Tony is. Tony hey, hey, is. Hey, you might have been a watch. She might have better watch what he says to me on that panel. <laughs> I got some I got some story stories too. And I'm, uh, I'm well, I'm sure Lois is gonna be there. No, no, Lois wouldn't dare come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that Lois will be there either. I don't think Lois yeah. makes many personal appearances, but Mr. Crockett, I guess we can reveal we've uh, we've been working on a pretty cool project. You know, you and I sort of envisioned the way HBO promotes a big boxing match, they would do like a 24 seven series where it's a, a weekly countdown to the big fight. Right. Showtime does the same thing with a program called access. And we thought, Hey, you know what? Rick's last match deserves that. Uh, so we've been working pretty hard on that. You harder than anybody. Uh, you've, you've managed to track down a lot of the names from back in the day and get them on camera for this, right? Oh yes. Yes. And really fans, you are going to enjoy this. There are so many guys from the past and the future that we're going to have. It's really, I, even you, Rick, I, yeah, I know you don't know all of them, but when you I see know, it, I know you got one of my ex in there. <laughs> 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 That's worth the yep. price of a vision alone. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I'd love to tell everybody about all of them, but. We're just going to spill it out one at a time. I think you're going to be impressed. It, there's a lot of names from uh, Rick Flair's past, present, and future that are going to be yes. appearing on this, and we'll be dropping it everywhere as we get a little closer towards the match. Um, 
and this is going to be the last match, man. I, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am to see that footage come together. And now the card has started to form. My understanding, Mr. Crockett is this past weekend, you spent a significant amount of time in the old <laughs> Starcast control center uh, oh, yeah. on the card. And it turns out this is not a one match show, right? Mr. Crockett. Oh, oh no, no, this, this is going to be two to three hours of fantastic wrestling. I mean, from, from the beginning to the end, it's, you're really going to be on your seat. Uh, we've got the future, we've got the past and the present all coming to you. And it's international, Rick. I don't know. Don't don't you know, don't you want to know what I'm doing? What are you doing right there? Ah, you're fixing the blade. (laughs) (laughs) I got makeup on so you can't see it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What, hey, Rick, I need to know what blood type are you? Cause I need to have a couple of gallons ready. There's nothing wrong with feeling good either. No, Rick, I... uh, you, you've told me that you absolutely love athletic greens. We got you hooked on the AG one. You're yep. taking it every single morning with one delicious scoop of AG one. You're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. It's going to help you start your day. Right. It's going to help you with all of your things, your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, your focus, your recovery, your aging. And what I like about it, well, Megan actually had me on this long before they were a sponsor of our show. It contains less than one gram of sugar. There's no GMOs. There's no nasty chemicals. There's no artificial anything, and it still tastes good. But more importantly, it supports better sleep quality and recovery, better mental clarity and alertness. It's also lifestyle friendly, whether you're eating keto or paleo or vegan or dairy or gluten-free. This checks all the boxes, but don't take mine and Rick's word for it. Athletic Greens has more than 7,000 five-star reviews. And right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com forward slash flare again that's athleticgreens.com forward slash flare to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance and uh rick i'm fired up man because folks are 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 jazzed they're getting a second chance at these tickets what should people expect on july 31st well i'm not sure of all the card i I think i'm aware of a few of the matches but for me um I I feel very confident saying that I will be I will be better than I was when I wrestled Sting at TNA. Mm. I'll be better than I was when I wrestled Sting at the closing of Nitro. How about that? I like it. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean I'm I'm putting enough time into it. You know, it's wrestling is something that you have to do all the time. I mean, unless you're a week, you take a week off for a couple weeks, but when you take eleven years off. The mechanics, everything, they fall back into place. Muscle memory is there, but it's just repetition. So, and uh, getting my own, getting myself over the psychological issues of, you know, the what could, what if, whatever. So I, I'm basically there and I, I just have to, I got a month and a half to get ready, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm very confident. I will, I, I, for me, I will give, I will be better than I was when I wrestled Sting at the close in Panama City. Well, I know fans are excited about that. So, you know, I, I watch Rick in some of his workouts. I mean, really, he's possessed the way he does it. Really, Rick, I, you are in better shape than when you wrestled Steam. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I remember, yeah. You know, I, I, you know Rusoff, Rus, 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 or, um, shoot, the, uh, promoter, uh, Russo and Vincent are in, uh, uh, and, um, Eric had shaved my head. Oh yeah. Ding, yeah. Ding yeah. had shoulder surgery. I didn't work out. All of a sudden I got the call and I, I hadn't worked out in a couple of months. So I just, my mind was gone from that, getting my head shaved and that. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm light years from there. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. It's just timing. Everything, everything else just comes, falls into place. 
Well, I'm excited that things are starting to fall into place, especially for those who missed their chance at those tickets that go on sale this Friday, Ric Flair's last match.com. Mr. Crockett, I don't know that you heard. Uh, I know I explained off air that we thought we had Jay lethal lined up. We've promoted it for a few weeks. Uh, there were some really great classic moments with him and Rick and impact where he was doing Rick stuff to him. And uh, I actually had you watch it, uh, just to sort of get familiar with Jay lethal, because when you were down there and saw him working out and all that, you asked me about Jay. And of course you didn't see all the impact stuff. So I showed you that stuff. How over the top fun was it to see Jay lethal and Rick flair together? Oh, i tell you what they were a pair. Yeah, I can't understand Jay not showing up and or not wanting to be on the show, but they were they were really like him and eggs, you could say. You well, know, if, that, he, uh, if he could if, if he could work at the level of his entertainment ability, he'd be on top. He's very entertaining, but his work is still yes, he is. yeah. Yeah, but at entertainment value, he's the best. It's just his work lacks a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that because no, it doesn't bad. I right. mean, you know, hey, some, some guys got it, some guys don't. You know, that, that doesn't affect. Geez, if you can't say that about someone without them getting offended, I don't know what you can do, right? Well, you what do you think will help help him, or or change him, or you know, get his head in the right place? Well, his head is in the right place. I just don't. I, he hasn't gotten it. I, he just hasn't had the opportunity. I'm sure he could pull it off, but. You don't know until you get that opportunity. Well, I, uh, didn't expect today's episode to go this way. And, and I am disappointed. You know, it's kind of like this. I'm watching Durant and Barkley go back and forth now. Right. So yes. Barkley, Barkley tells Kevin Durant until he drives the bus by himself. That he's the number one guy. Mm -hmm. He'll never be held in the, in the, in, in the, he'll never be held by guys like himself. Magic, uh, Michael, LeBron, da, da, um, um, in, in that upper echelon order till he drives the bus by himself, I meaning without Steph Curry, without whatever, right? And so Durant got mad at him and said, Well, you old guys are, you know, you know, you're just mad because we're making more money than you and all that. And, and, and I understand. But you know, it's 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 the same thing. I'm not. I, I at my at my age, do I really care what if, if I say something about what someone what they think of me? I mean, I wouldn't. If I'm I'm here at seventy three, hopefully going to sell out the auditorium. So I'm not worried about what anybody thinks of me or my comments. And then this is not going to affect me and Jay's respect for each other. So I'm not wasn't doing that. Well, I feel weird even asking this on the air, but we can edit this out. Are are you still planning to continue training with Jay? Because these yeah. are some pretty important. Absolutely. I'm going there today. Okay. I, I'm not the one who declined to be on the show. He just declined to do it. Maybe he's got something going on. Well, there were some entertaining segments. Right. I'll tell you that. Um, what were you saying, Mr. Crockett? I was going to say maybe Rick talk to him, see what, you know, what's in his head. You know, why he didn't you? I mean, talking about a perfect time. Well, you, well, you, 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 guys, you guys tell me to be on a, he can be on a show and I'll talk to him about it. The, uh, the idea of being a heel with that much heat makes me think you need life insurance. Go to goliathlife.com right now. Get a quick quote from 20 different carriers. Think about how much time that's going to save you. It's going to make it easy. You pick your terms, you pick your payment, you pick your price. And life insurance is not about you. It's about your family and providing peace of mind for you. Because what's going to happen to them without your income? You don't want to think about that. You want to know everything's taken care of. Thanks to goliathlife.com. The, uh, the observer absolutely loved the segment that you guys did way back when here's what Dave Meltzer had to write about it. The Ric Flair, Jay lethal segment on this show was as entertaining as just about anything on wrestling TV this year. It's both amazing and sad. That as far as going out and doing promos, when you remove the scripting aspect, Flair blows away all but a few people in the business. And Lethal brought out the best in him, leading to Flair bringing out the best in Lethal. Beating Style should have made Lethal a star. Hell, beating Angle should have made him a star. In the latter, the booking dropped the ball, and in the former, we're past the point where wins and losses mean anything in this promotion. But if Lethal isn't booked as a top player after this segment, there is no hope. Yeah, there you go. 
So then in this case, it's a booking. They can't get mad at me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think Jay's a helpful worker, but I don't know. First, you know, in the eyes of people that he, uh, I don't know. We, it, anyway, that, that that answers the question. So it, it, it says it right there. And by the way, I'd like to know who the other two are, Dave, that are better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, I like that. I like that. Jesus, that, yes. that shot better go to California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee he'll be uh, in Nashville. I, I'm I a man. That. I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> you actually did a, a program with Jay, so not just the uh, I, the promo. I, I, I got more Wrestle of the Year awards than Seth Rollins had world titles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this, Rick. You know, usually on the on the interviews, you were always promoting where the party was going to be. Absolutely. Where's the party going to be? Where's the party? Uh, Conrad will tell me the hotel is that because Big is going to be in town. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say like it is. Guys, it is my full-time job being Ric Flair's son-in-law. Let me just tell you. <laughs> there aren't any things to say about being a horseman. It's not something you put on in the morning and take off at night. It's 24 oh, seven. It absolutely is. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Believe me. Hotel, I'm trying to give you the name of the hotel and plug it right now. 18 to 28. No boy for his new husband. Woo! Now, I mean, I'm, now that I'm in my coverage, I can raise the age limit to 40. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-one to forty, thirty-one to forty-five, <laughs> <laughs> uh. and you can have a boyfriend or a husband. Just don't bring them. <laughs> well, and now I want to know. Uh, speaking of that, when are the tryouts going to take place for your entourage there in Nashville to bring oh, you out? To, I don't you know. gotta have you gotta have tryouts, right? I know. Got to have tryout. So, so, you know, need a range of time and a place, you know, we in might, Nashville. We might have those. Can observe. The, we might have those at the Palm in the Hilton Saturday or Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> well, Good you know, time. Good time. Get your boy at the Palm. <laughs> hey. Uh, I don't know. This well, is going to be. Maybe, maybe the mayor might help approve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that woke you up. <laughs> oh Lord! I think we've asked the mayor for enough. I think uh, <laughs> I mean, the companions might be a little far fetched. I, I'm excited yeah. about our press conference though because we are going to be highlighting some charity stuff. We're also going to be uh, announcing some other really fun stuff that we've got coming up, including I guess we can reveal here now. Uh, we will have an international flair to this undercard. It's my understanding, Mr. Crockett, that we've got matches arranged from Mexico and Japan. Is that right? That is correct. That we do. New to Japan, pro wrestling, they're coming. Also, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a triple A. Yep. Uh, they're go they're going to be there with, you know, with some of their best wrestlers in Japan too. So really internationally in scope worldwide. In appeal. So we're going to have an international flair, lots of fun matches, lots of different promotions. Stay tuned. We're going to be announcing those through the Starcast Control Center with Mr. David Crockett. It's going to have an old school flair to it. But in the meantime, I thought we should uh, celebrate some of the more happy times with Jay Lethal. Uh, uh, it's a little weird that we're doing a Jay Lethal episode without him, but I guess that's his choice. Uh, but Mr. Crockett, as we're, we're queuing up that video uh, to show the, the woo off with, with Rick and Jay, I also showed you that. It turns out uh, Jay Lethal does a hell of a macho man impression. What do oh, you think? Oh, man. Does he? Oh, the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a, that, that is, is awesome. He's a, awesome. He's a really, really talented kid, boy. I hope you can show that, you know, as far as some of the video. Oh, yeah. Well, well, the Black Machismo character, you know, 
I thought so much of it. I actually invited him to do the roast, but I didn't know there were some hurt feelings. Maybe that's not something we can do now, but I, I, I don't know if there are guys. I, I, I just, I just responded to him as honestly as I could. So we'll, I'm sure it'll be okay. You know, here I thought you would be nice to everybody. And, and you, you know, you got this guy that the what imitates now? you to a T and then also yeah, Martin I'm, and I'm, Andy I'm Sanders not, to a T. I'm not booking the card though. So I, that's, that's the problem. If I was booking the card, you know, it would be totally different probably. Uh, that's called fading the heat right there, Mr. Crockett. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, you uh, yeah. That's right. I, I mean, I, I, you should put him on the first match. It should. He can work with any of those guys. Okay. I don't think that's what he wants to do as far as first match. Yeah. Well, I think he, I, would, I, I, he would I, I, rather I, be up in, in the, you know, closer to the top. Why well, then, you know, that's your call. You guys, you know, yeah, I well, don't know the, what well, the old he, card is. Yeah. Does he have the wrestling ability? Is that, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely he got the stick. Yes, he's yes, he does. Stick, right? Yep, he absolutely has the ability. Uh, but, he's the longest reigning, reigning ring of honor champion in history. 707 days, uh, longer than Brian Danielson, longer than Adam Cole, longer than Kevin Steen, uh, longer than, than Samoa Joe. And yeah, I, uh, I think he's a heck of a talent and boy, is he entertaining? I think Steve has, uh, some, uh, some footage queued up that we were going to play today and have a little fun. Why not do it anyway? Let's relive some of these great moments, courtesy of impact wrestling of the impact plus app, where you can watch this and all their other great clips. And of course, I think what we're about to watch might actually be the most watched YouTube video in impact history, uh, because people were just so damned entertained by it. Dave even called it perhaps the most entertaining wrestling TV of the year. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage and take a look at Rick. Yeah, that punk right there say anything about the four horsemen. The greatest group of men to ever grace God's green earth. I didn't hear that because as far it looks like the horsemen were here. They took a dump in the ring and they left that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going there and I'll break your neck right now, huh? I, I had the privilege uh, to be on the road up and down. Late nights, parties, kissing the girls and making them cry. With the horsemen, you got as far as I'm concerned, are no horsemen. That is disrespectful to me and this wrestling business. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Why'd you, Nature Boy, not that piss at Jay Lethal? Hey! That's right. What? Come on, Duck brothers. Tails. Let's see what you got. You can Let's throw see your Rolex. Let's see what you got. You Come on. Throw all your Come on. Away, Rick. Come on. Let's throw see what you got. You want, you want to see something? Yeah. Let me show you something. I want to see it. My friend's got one shoe on, you by the way. You want to see it? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. Watch this. Driving for the nuts. Right there is the greatest thing you can do. I'll ever see. You can't be me. You can't do me. And I'm cutting you off right now. You're cutting You're me cut off. off. Yeah. You don't cut me off. Woo! Hey, don't you start that with me. Woo! Woo! Don't you be upset. Living run. Jet flying. Kids stealing. Wheeling dealing. Son of a gun. The any woman right here, even that fat one, and make her cry. Big man, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't, don't be upset because they tore old Space Mountain down. Don't be upset. But hey, because, hey, because of hey, Rick, oldest ride, oldest ride, longest line. 
Let's see what you got. There's the other shoe drop. You know what, Devet? <laughs> this is insane. You want to see it out there? You know what? Woo! You look out the ring right now. Woo! 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 Yes, girls. <laughs> you hit me. Woo! Yeah, you, honey. That ride has been shut down long enough. Thanks shut to me. your hey, mouth. If you need. Listen here, Tinkerbell. If that man can't keep in control, I'm not out me, here. He sure as hell can't control Being me. Being a cheap imitation of a legend, the greatest wrestler who ever lived! Yes! Yes! I am out here making a name for myself. So I suggest tonight you do the same thing. You take that ghetto booty, take it off a of space mountain for five seconds and put it in this ring, because I'm going to kick it. Chelsea, hey, you know what Chelsea told me? You want to know what she told me? She said, hey, I tried the old guy. Young guys are much faster, stronger, hey, and there's 60-minute men, Daddy. Wow! 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 She told me, you don't know what 60 minutes is. You don't know what 60 is in the bedroom or the ring. You got it. You want me tonight? Yeah. You I, have got it. We want you all night long. Desmond, uh, tonight you're going to find out that jumping on is a lot easier than jumping on. Wow. That's my line. 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 Come on. Come on. We're stealing it. That flare's line. He's stealing it. about 10 of flare's lines. That's my line. That's my line. My goodness. I mean, take care of business tonight, and I'll make you the first member of Fortune. But if you lose, you're history forever. And you, baby, get ready to ride the mountain. What oh. fun was that, Mr. Crockett? How great was that? Oh, that was. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? He ain't going. He ain't going. I, I, I couldn't decide which one was the be nature boy. <laughs> Either can I. <laughs> Man, Good Lord. this oh, would have been that's... so much fun. Uh, we hope you're okay, Mister Lethal. We hope we didn't get better deals here because, yeah. man. This was a, a real highlight uh, uh, on our show in, in Rick's TNA career and certainly in Jay's. And you saw what, what Meltzer said about it. My goodness. If, if he's not a top player after that, you know, my well, I agree. I agree. I don't know what's gotten into him. You know, uh, Jay, Jay, you know, let's get your head straight. Let's no, get you back. Oh. I, guys, please don't, you got, don't put that owners on me. He's fine. I told you, put yeah. him on the open patch or something like that. So yeah, my, nature boy one two, you know you can't have you can't have them on the opening match, right? Well, you guys actually wrestled <laughs> in uh, in Impact, and uh, yeah, he yeah. did some press leading into it, and he talked about how this match with Ric Flair was a dream come true, and uh, he said that even that was maybe an understatement. Um, it, it's a big deal that that he was out there and able to to go shot for shot with you because everybody in the business was talking about it. And Meltzer would say Jay lethal did an interview, pushing the match with flair, talking about how flair had attacked his younger brother who wasn't a wrestler 
Lethal then talked about his mother being in the hospital and he wanted to make her proud by beating Flair. Flair came out and said he didn't care about his mother. He talked about his moves with women and said that he's crashed in airplanes and even been struck by lightning. So there's nothing that lethal can do that he hasn't felt yet. And of course you guys had the match and I can't believe this is real, but Rick J actually beat you with a figure four leg lock. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, uh, I guys, I, this, I was far from my, my, I was far from in my best shape there. Quite honestly, that's when I was going through that divorce with Jackie. And I mean, I was self indulgent way too much at night. I was, I, I didn't, I don't think I was even working out back then. So, um, I don't, I don't, I don't even remember that, but I'm, I'm sure he did beat me. I think anybody could have beat me then physically. Well, if you could change one thing about your home, what would it be? a new kitchen, a new master bath, maybe put in a pool. What if you could do it with no money out of pocket and cheaper monthly payments? Save with Conrad.com can help. And you can even skip your next two house payments. NMLS number 65084, equal housing lender. Save with Conrad.com. You guys had a pretty good match. It went 12 minutes and three seconds. And Meltzer said this, this wasn't at the level of Flair's best matches in 07 or 08, but still better than what was on the most of the rest of the card, two and three quarter stars. So even going on six and, and he says, Hey, maybe not as good as he was a few years ago, still better mm -hmm. than most of the rest of the card next verse. Same as the first man. I'm excited. You're going to be closing the show on July 31st. And, um, uh, Jay's been helping you get ready. This felt like a, a fun thing for us to have some fun with today. And famously, you know, you guys had that promo that people are still talking about it. There was some other segments and all that, but it feels weird to just keep going on and on with him not here, but. Yeah, we have, it's, uh, and maybe he's at TV. You know, I know that they're doing Dynamite on Wednesday. Maybe he had no, no, I'm afraid with this afternoon. I think, unless I, I haven't heard from him, but it's supposed to be there at three o'clock. So I'll ask him what's going on. I'm sure it's okay. Well, I, I've had a, a lot of fun just, you know, hyping up this, this opportunity for July 31st and, and setting the record straight on, on, on what will be happening and won't be happening. We've spilled a lot of beans today, Mr. Crockett. We've got a full card. We're going to have an international flair. We're going to have triple a represented new Japan is going to have a match for us. Uh, we're going to have some ladies doing some, some stuff. There's going to be some titles on the line. We're going to be announcing these matches, maybe one a day in the coming several days. Tickets go on sale this Friday at Ric Flair's last match.com. Uh, but this was, uh, this was a good deal, man. I, I appreciate you guys taking the time and I'm sorry that we had to throw you a curveball today, Mr. Crockett and jump on, but you're always a good sport. And well, I well, thank you. I, thank you. I, you know, you I have to say, yeah, you know, I have to say that, you know, for the worldwide audience that we are going to be able to give you a pay-per-view. We're going to be able to stream it. So, yeah. you know, you're Hell not yeah. going to miss out on anything. Hell yeah. Good deal, man. Here well, in thank America, you can check it out on Dish Network, uh, uh, of course, Direct TV, and in demand if you're a cable user. But anywhere in the world, Fight has it for you at rickflareslastmatch.com. Here, here is the stand in the morning, starting Friday at noon. What time do you go on sale? Uh, noon. You got it. Friday, yeah. noon, rickflareslastmatch.com. Uh, it's going to be a happening, man. People are going to be excited. Stand in the only July 31st. To see the nature bar walk that out. Well, look at the gold in here, look. Styling and profiling. Knowing that I have bled, sweat, and paid the price of a wrestling lifetime. And any daughter in the world today that thinks I can't be that man doesn't know me, doesn't deserve to know me, and can kiss my ass. Woo! We'll see you next week for Starcade 85, Ric Flair and Dusty coming your way.